Yes, you just clicked on this video and it is as degenerate as it sounds. We're going to be ranking monster girls. I already did a monster tier list, but now what if those monsters were like actually like hot anime girls too? So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know where you're going to put vampire girls because um, they'll be pretty high, right? On the content of today. I hope you're ready. Monster girl tier list. Down here, we got all the types, different types of monster girl. I'm going to rate how hot they are. So we're going to start off with spider girls. This isn't spider verse. We're like... Spider Woman. Oh no, there's a D and D spider. She's like the queen of the drow. There's Elsie from League, and there's also there's also a monster in Doctor Who. Uh, they're like C. They're not like hot. Are they? Harpies. As someone who grew up watching Yu-Gi-Oh, had a huge crush on Mai. I think we can get put Harpies all the way up in A. Harpy Lady, definitely. Even so, I think they censored the Harpies in the in the dub. I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go to Google. Oh, it's uh, it's a headless headless horse lady. How how are you supposed to get head? There's a big part of the uh, the equation that's missing. Plus, having a pretty face is makes me weak. And we're, we're putting these guys down in D. I feel like I googled what a lamia was when I did the monster fucker. The half snake woman. She's got a fucking penis on her head. What the fuck? Oh, a child eating monster. Oh, she can eat my children. Like my semen. I think B, this is better than Spider and Delahan 100%. Is it as sexy as a harpy? No fucking shot. Cat girls. Is there any question that cat girls shouldn't be an S tier? There's a reason why half the VTubers in the world are fucking cat girls, dude. Easiest, easiest S in the world. That's some good pussy. Pussy cat. Dog, dog and wolf girls is like this is the same, bro. Cat girls, dog girls, hottest, hottest girls in the world. Now this is a real monster fucker. I, I, I don't know if I can even e explain it, but it's, it's, it's an S. Is it the warmth of being absorbed into slime? Like the flexibility? Or is it just like the gooey, gooeyness? Slime girls are hot. You just cannot convince me otherwise. I think my brain might be broken. Ooh, Cyclops girl. I think this is pretty A. Would want I be that distracting for me? No, I don't think so. Actually, that's getting hotter the more I think about it. Only girls, these are demon girls. Demon girls are... S. Team things are hot in D&D. This is fairly similar. Fox Girls is just an extension of Dog Girl or Cat Girl. It's just, these three are all like the same. Except this is, includes Ari from League of Legends who is objectively the hottest character and the most expensive character because that girl knows her worth. Mermaid Girls. I think mermaids we, we can bring down to A. I was gonna say would the fish would the would this fish smell distract me but then I realized I'm not afraid of the smell of puss. If you're giving them a taste you should have a taste too. Centaurs. I don't think Santa's are for me because it is mostly horse with mostly person. Kind of weird and freaky and I don't like it. Squirrel girls. I don't think squirrel would... Squirrel girls seem that attractive at all in my head. Raccoon on the other hand. I think ra raccoon is probably a solid B. Cute ears. And that'll have a cute tail too. That's good. Hellhound. Oh yeah, we're going to put Cinder all the way up here. But succubuses are just uh, by definition super attractive. The whole point of a succubus is to lure you into having sex. I'm going to help a succubus do its job. Uh, angels. I think angels are fucking hot too, bro. The warmth and the, and the care. So we like succubuses and angels. We go from the heavens to the hells here. Elves are just like human plus but i guess all of these are kind of just human plus the only bad part about an elf is that it will definitely outlive you i guess the same can be said for vampires but um wait wait where, where, where should we put the uh where should we put the vampires no reason oh s s crazy that you'd put vampires in s tier who would who would do that who would think vampires are hot when they bite you in the neck uh imps are like too demony. They're not like person enough. Crab girls. I can imagine what this looks like in my head. An anime girl, but she's got Kingler claws. Literally is. We can we can put crab girls at like an A. I that was weirdly. Okay. I'm okay with that. I think. Mimic girls, like girls that can transform themselves into look into like every object. And then, uh, but then when you touch them, they're sticky and you can never leave them. That's an A. That's an A. We can put that in A. Ghost girls. Oh, this is an A or an S. A. We're gonna go with A. B girls. No, I, I don't think I can do bugs, bro. I think spider, spiders up here, bugs, the other bugs are down here. Insect, insects, are, I, I don't think I can do it. Too creepy crawly for me. Bear girls. Oh, this could be cute. I think bear girls can go in A. That's pretty cute. Orc girls. Actually, to be dominated by an orc girl would be fucking... Yeah, we can go up here. Centipede, millipede, no, 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 no more bugs, bro. Mouse or rat girl? I think it's, the tail would freak me out too much. Like the mouse tail or the rat tail would just 
freak me out a little too much. But maybe, maybe, but he is a kind of cute. Uh, B. We can go with B, I think. Dragon Girl? Oh, Dragon Girl is hot. Yeah, there's like a level of like power and dominance and higher than you and do what I say about a Dragon Girl and yeah, S. Dragon Girls are S. Now, Lizard Girls are just Dragon Girls that haven't fully evolved yet, so we can put them down at B. <laughs> Salamander girls, yeah, they're called, um, some people think this is, um, but Salamander, mm, mm, probably down here with lizard girls, it's not too different. Pixie fairy girls, dried nymph, uh, these are fairly the same. Pixie, yeah, we can put these both in A, they're basically the same, just dried nymphs is just like the forest version of pixie fairy. Uh, Tanuki is just the same, isn't that just a raccoon girl anyway? Isn't that the same? Goblin girl? Actually, that sounds kind of hot. God, I'm a fucking monster fucker, bro. Moth girl. As long as they're not too fuzzy, this could be relatively hard, but I'm gonna put this in B. I don't think moth girl is as attractive as a lot of these other ones. Toad or frog girl. I think that's a B as well. This is like very middle of the road to me. I, don't, I just don't think I have strong feelings towards Toad or Frog Girls. Zombie Girl. As long as they're not super frail and they're not going to rip apart from fragile skin. I think Zombie is pretty A tier. Uh, monkey Girls. Again, I don't think I have any strong feelings on this. We're going to put this in B. Again, no real strong anything about it. What is a Matango? Oh, it's like a Mushroom Girl. That's kind of cute. Yeah, we'll put that in A. Fairly cute. Cowgirls. All I have to say about cowgirls is that there's a reason why they're called milkers, okay? They have, they can have a lot of uh, pers personality. I don't even know what this is, too. Is it like a Kraken girl? No, oh, okay. I, I did not know this name, but fuck me, dude. I'm a fucking degen. Oh my god. Rabbit girl slash bunny girl. This goes up here with cat and dog girl. This is this is basic but classic and there's a reason there's a reason why it's basic. It's because it's good. Manticore girl? That's kind of interesting. A girl made up of a couple of different animals. Yeah, that that that, that seems like it'd be a wild time. A, A. If you can see, this is very much more top heavy than it is bottom heavy. Mummy girl, I've never thought about that before, but that does sound interesting. And you can call her mummy whenever you want. Pig girl. This is a thing, right? If I if I say this and nobody knows what I'm talking about, I'm going to like, seem like a fucking DJ, bro. Very, very niche. But I, I go put on like a pig nose thing and like be forced to eat something in like a, in, like, a fetishy kind of way. Am I the, no, am I the only one? We can just we can just put this down here, okay? We don't need to talk about it too much. No, okay. Scorpion girl does seem interesting. I'm gonna put this in A, because there's like a level of thrill and danger that can come with that. That is very exciting to me. They, have, you know, they have something to hold against you with the giant stinger. Like, do you want me to punish you with this? Oh god, yeah. Oh god. Giant giant girls in S. I don't. I I I do not need to explain myself. Maybe it's, maybe it's just me. Five five ten. So I feel like I'm really big. Nice to have someone that's bigger than me. <laughs> Bat girls are basic. Are, are just the alternate form of vampire girls. They can go right next to them. Bat girls are just vampires that have been turned into bats. Okay. Uh, Eldritch girls. Now this is hot. Eldritch. It's like mysterious. Don't really know what's gonna fucking happen. Anything could happen. Mantis girls. We can sit down here with the rest of the fucking bug girls. Uh, alien girls. I think A. I think I. I think I, it would really depend on what kind of alien tra traits they have and how how different they are but i think a is a good place but chat you did pass the test you would you did put vampires at s 